Hi, my friends. Welcome back. And we're here from our troublemaker. Four more parts left. Or I just completely miscounted. Yep, four more parts. Let's go. Brody got into a huge fight with his dad and disappeared into the street. Hey, hey, Sherry and Trince. I can't say no more. I'm sorry. I'm, gonna, I'm offending so many French people. French right now. Or European. I Just let me die. I tried to find him and was offered help by a man named Claude. Later did I know that Claude had no intention of helping me. The world went black and I'd never been more scared. Is anyone here? But there's no answer. It's all that jerk Claude's fault. What am I going to do? Suddenly, out of the darkness of the corner of the room, I heard a shuffle. Hello? Is anyone there? It's me. Hello? Karen, is that you? Brody! Oh my god, Brody. I thought I'd never see you again. Karen, I'm so sorry, Love Cake. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What happened? I left the restaurant to blow up some steam, and the next thing I knew, this woman knocked me out. What happened to you? That guy was trying to get me to go to the coffee at the hotel. He was pretending to help me find you. That bastard. I'll kick his. Calm down, okay? I'm, I'm mad too. But we need to get keep a, keep a cool head to get out of this. You're right. I know this is... I know. Is, is this the Black Dagger? Did they do this to us? I don't know. I s Okay, I need to try <laughs> I see you two are awake. Who are you? Let's go now. Don't push your luck. I don't care that you're a lady. If you don't let us go, I'll kick your... Holy crap. Don't... Do you even know how to use that thing? No, no, my Charlotte. Don't lose your head. Charlotte. You, you stupid jerk moron. Yeah, I cannot do French names. I'm sorry, I'm Asian, okay? I, I skipped French class. Don't laugh. This is serious. This guy lied to you, me and knocked me out. To be fair, I did help you find Brody. That is technically... Technicality, and you know it. Please, Carolyn. We can be civil. This is business. Colette, please put the gun down. The black doggers have the black dogs have nothing about them being in one piece. No 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 more violence. Please come here. Should we go over there, Brody? I don't know. Brody, I'm scared. I know you are. What what's the hold up? Let me sh let me shoot them. No, there will be none of that. Come on. My apologies for the stress she's causing. I should have never let her have the gun. What do you mean, let her have? She can make her own choices. Karen, Karen, she was going to shoot us. Her choice. I, I, will I will still shoot you. Only if that was you want to do what you want to do. Then it sounds perfectly good. Why do I have to get, get so gosh darn talking about why I'm scared? D did you know there's only one stop sign in all of Paris? Oui. That is enough. Enjoy your time for the black de for the black dead will soon come for you. Brody, the black dead. Sure. What are you gonna do? Why did you get caught? Wait, what? You shouldn't have come here. I should have brought you to Paris in the first place. Seriously, where is this coming from? I can handle this, but you? You? You can handle this? Are you kidding me? Yes, I can. It would be better if I were alone. How can you say that? I've done it once alone. Without my parents, my friends, I don't need anyone. You asked me to come with you. You asked me to be here. I know, and I shouldn't have done that. It was stupid. I was stupid. So what are we supposed to do then? I wish you weren't here. You don't mean that. I know you don't. Yes, yes I do. And we don't get out of here. Brody, I'll never forgive myself. 
Why is Brody acting like this? This way? Why now? Of all times, when I need him the most. Unless, Brody, it's not your fault. What are you talking about? All this and this before, it's not your fault. You don't. You're not the one who did any of this. It's my fault that you're in danger. No, you. You didn't kidnap anyone. You didn't cause what happened to you years ago. I. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry we're in this crappy situation. But now it's not the time to be divided. But how can I make up to to you? Oh my God! But how can I keep you safe? How can I make things right? I don't know. But we have each other, and even being even with people being huge jerks, that's still a lot. I thought if I were tough, tough against the world, then no one could get hurt. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? That's why that's why I act this way. Because if I'm strong and alone, no one can get close enough. Buddy, I'm sorry for all of this, but. You don't have to be that anymore. It doesn't have to be with any against the world anymore. But no, like it or not, we're in this together, and I think everyone at school can be, agree. We're both troublemakers. Reference. I love you. I love you too. So, Mr. Kaysen, how are we getting out of here? I don't know, but we need to leave before the Black Dagger gets here. Okay, I got an idea. What's that? Act like Brody. How are we doing, children? Can we can we just end this? I'm tired. Soon this will be all over. Come over here. You don't have to involve her, but she sees our faces. She will hand over to. She will be hand over to. You don't know. You don't know who you're dealing with. We all know, we know all about the cases, rich boy. No, I mean the Black Dagger. They are incredibly bad news. We'll deal with them. Okay, Carolyn, let's do this. Take me, but you don't have to give them Carolyn. Please let her go. So you guys gonna split the money to get with your... You, oh my god, I'm sorry. So you guys wanna split the money you get with your partners, right? What? Claude, you have another partner? No, it's just us. Good to know. What? And in the line, buddy. You can't do this. We just did. Now give me back my phone and we're calling the cops and you're going to jail. No, it will not end like this. Dude, game over. We're leaving. Together. Brody and I called the parents' place where I am no time. And Colette were a couple of small time hoods who were trying to work their way into the black bag. They actually, they actually had nothing to do with them. Pretty risky gamble on their part. Or so the inspector told us. I can't believe they thought this would get them to the, that stupid black dagger. Oi. We. Oui. It was a pretty silly plan. They, they would be going away for a long time. Thank you for your help. And merci for your quick thinking in a stressful situation. I, I learned for the best. So did I. Brody, thank God you're okay. Karen found me. You're amazing, Karen. You really are. But I thought I asked you to stay at the hotel. I couldn't sit by knowing Brody was in trouble. Well, I'm glad you're both okay. Now let's go back home. We'll be in touch if we need anything else. Thank you for your help, Inspector Michael. You don't have a cousin or something in America... Do you, Officer Mike? Officer Mike? No, I, I have not heard of such a man. I think you'd like him. I think I would. I'm having my people prep the plane. Get your things for the hotel and let's go. Thank you. Of course, and thank you. For what? I can't, I, I'm, I've come out of my shell on my way I never have thought. I mean, we just fought bad guys in Paris together. What do you think is going to happen when we get home, when we're back at school? You mean with Tyler and Elise and everything else? Yeah, I don't know what they're all going to do, but I know what I'm not. I'm going to do. What's that? Love you. Woohoo! Brody Kissing, Percy Senior, we 
get an exclusive with you about what what just hap has happened. And if you need news, we. What else? I don't think I can tell the whole story about myself. I need Caroline. Ah, Lee, the brave young girl who risked everything to come here and save her love. We must have her too. I don't think we should. I don't have enough money. Seriously? We all have been so much. I don't think. I don't know if going on TV is the best thing to do. Yeah, I, I think keeping a low profile is the way to go. Well, I'm disappointed, but I understand. But I'd, like to, but I'd like to give a statement. What's that? Uh, oops. What's that? I wouldn't have survived without the help of and love the most beautiful woman in the world. Merci, Brody. Merci, Carolyn. Can we go home now? Lee. <laughs> I really can't do a fr French accent. I cannot. We packed our, we packed our things and got on Jake's patient's private plane. As we flew, everything that happened fell off with me, and I was well, suddenly, and suddenly I was exhausted. I gently drifted to a stick in Brody's arms, knowing that no matter what happens, I'll be okay because I had Brody by my side. For once, everything felt good. Everything felt not right. Brody and I are safe, and we are in love. I can't believe all that happened, and no one will here no will know ever know. Maybe that's for the best. Caroline, I'm sorry. I did my best to cover it, but... Amy, what happened? Amy, please. She told your mom. She told her everything. Oh, no. Caroline Indigo, get away from Brody Casey now. Right now. You see, you can just leave the country. You're grown up for the rest of your life. Oh, hi, Caroline. How's it going? Oh, no. Get it shoot myself. Oh my god. At least told on me? I'm I am so screwed. Oh my god. My I feel like I should my character should like shoot, shoot myself. Oh well too bad. Huh? Anyways, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!